Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Roy Jackson, ladies and gentlemen. Roy Jackson. Y'all know me and shit? That clever like y'all know who I am. I like that. That's all right. Shit. Fuck it. You know what I mean? Why not? You know, let's all be friends. Yo, so check it out. So I watch a lot of TV and shit, right? You know what I'm saying? TV will fuck you up nowadays, because it's, it's different. I mean, there's a lot of bullshit on TV now, right? Like, everything is called Real Housewives of this, Real Housewives of that. But ain't nobody a fucking housewife. <laughs> you know what I mean? Everybody ex-wives, and bitches that want to be wives, and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody white, but the title of the show is Real Housewives. Fuck you up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And don't stop there, like, if you watch the news, the news just keep you in fear. The news just tell you a bunch of bad shit all the time. Somebody got killed, somebody got robbed, somebody got raped. I want to wake up one day and the news say some nice shit, like, you know what I mean? Breaker, breaker, listen, listen, alert. Every Monday has been clear, declared National Dick Sucking Day. Now, that's some shit that you get excited about, you know what I'm saying? Right? Right? Or, they tell you some shit like, Oh, and Wednesdays are fuck the person you always want to fucking work day. You know what I mean? Because everybody want to fuck somebody at work. You know what I mean? Shit. Motherfuckers be going to bed early after that shit. You know what I mean? Talking about, hey, I can't wait to go to work tomorrow. God damn it. You know what I'm saying? Woo, shit. You know what I mean? Michelle look good to the motherfucker. I can't wait to get dick. I'm telling you. Shit is real. But what really gets me is the commercials. Commercials fuck you up. You know what I'm saying? Because commercials nowadays tell you shit about yourself, depending on what time of the day you watch TV. You know what I'm saying? Like you wake up in the morning, you watch the news, no big deal, you know what I'm saying? Regular shit. Traffic reports, weather, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? But if you watch TV in the afternoon, fucks your whole shit up. You know what I'm saying? Like Judge Joe Brown, all those kind of shows. You watch TV around that time, like, I don't know what the fuck mesothelioma is, but if you watch TV during that time of day, you got that shit. You know what I'm saying? And it don't stop there. Apparently, because they do research marketing, you know what I'm saying, to figure out when to put these commercials on, it must be a lot of ladies that got vaginal mesh during the afternoon too. I don't know why. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what the fuck is going on in the afternoon, but if ladies watch. Hey, check, watch that shit. You meet a lady, she tell you, oh, I was watching some Judge Joe Brown. Be like, oh, fuck, you got vaginal mesh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's some real shit. I'm telling you, you gotta be careful. No what the fuck is going on. Commercial will tell you a lot about yourself. Real shit. You know what I mean? If you watch late night TV, the commercials let you know you're not getting no boom. Because it's all sex ads. Sex ads and dick stay hard commercials and shit. You know what I mean? So you get some stay hard pills and they're called a sex line. So that way you take the pill, then call the sex line. You know what I mean? All at the same time, shit go hand in hand. They thinking. These motherfuckers is thinking with these commercials. They ain't no dummies. Got that shit together. But what I really like watching is the animal shows, you know what I'm saying? Because animals and humans, we a lot of life and shit, you know what I mean? Like, for real, you know what I'm saying? I was watching the lions, and like, what I found out is like, they, they're so cute. Did you just say that? Like, <laughs> Look at them, they're so cute. <laughs> You know, they, they are, but what I realized is the lion is fucking, you know, a, a lion, the male lion is like a pimp and shit, right? You know what I'm saying? A male lion don't do shit. It just, just chills the fuck out, you know what I'm saying? And they got like little lioness hoes that they send out to go to work, you know what I'm saying? On the Serengeti. That's what it do. It just chill up under a tree, don't lift a paw, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, you send a little lioness hole and say, look, y'all better go get my food. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> look, I was watching the episode one time. <laughs> Lionesses came back without no meat. I swore that lion got up and said, bitch, you better have my money. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I feel for the animals, too. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, <laughs> I was tripping on some shit the other day. I was watching, I was like, oh, damn, man. You know, all these big cats, and then you got like primates and all this shit. And I was like, even though we all like are animals, you know what I'm saying? One thing human got that, that is an advantage over animals that we all want to raise too, but we get to fuck everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, know, you can fuck white people, black people, Spanish people, you know what I mean? You can do that. A lion don't get to do that. You know what I'm saying? All it can do is fuck other little lions. And you know, I feel for the lion, because you know, sometimes. He probably
probably just sit up on a Serengeti just looking out and like, damn, I wish I could get that cheetah pussy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's some real shit. You know what I mean? And I bet you every now and then that fucking line sneak off and get it too. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Then he come back. And, yeah, yeah. Then he come back and he hook up with his little, you know, his little lying homies and he telling me like, yo, my man. You know what I'm saying? You know I knocked that little cheetah pussy off the other night. You know what I'm saying? Yeah! Real shit! That's how it's going down in the Serengeti. Y'all think about that. You think a gorilla don't want to fuck a baboon? You know what I'm saying? It can't do it though. You know what I'm saying? Gorilla look at the baboon and be like, look at all that baboon ass. You know what I'm saying? The baboon's got big asses. You know what I'm saying? Gorilla want to tear that ass up, but he can't. Like, fuck, I can't. It's a baboon. This shit ain't no fair. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that shit. They had no fun. You know what I mean? But that's what lets me know the interracial dating is okay. You know what I'm saying? Because we're the animals. We supposed to do the shit. The animals can't even do it. If we weren't supposed to do it, it'd be just like the animals. All we can do is look. You know what I mean? Not touch. But we can touch. Touch and get it. You know what I mean? God put the poon here for us, fellas. So have some. You know what I mean? Shit. Don't be scared of it. You're supposed to enjoy it. You know what I mean? And, you know, and, uh, <laughs> summer's coming to an end. You know what I mean? What's to an end? Shit, we in fall basically now. The weather changing and shit. You know what I mean? So the gym's about to start filling back up because what I've noticed is that people like to go to the gym, you know what I mean, during the winter and get all ready for the summer and show their shit off. You know what I mean? And it's different kinds of people in the gym, I've noticed. You know what I mean? Like you go to the gym and you always got this fat motherfucker in the gym who's swearing buff. You know what I mean? And he's walking around and his arms sit on top of all this fat ass meat and he think like that's like he's like a motherfucker walk making hella noise and shit. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Look at this shit. If you don't sit your fat ass down somewhere, you know what I'm saying? You know people be looking at him and don't want to say shit. You know what I mean? You know when a motherfucker walk in the room and you don't want to like say nothing about him, you know what I mean? The first thing somebody say though, man, look at this motherfucker. That's some cold shit too, right? You know what I mean? You ain't really gotta say what you're talking about. All you just tell somebody just look at some shit. Look at this motherfucker. You know what I mean? That's some cold shit. But then what gets me is the ladies that be in the gym half naked. And then act like they don't want nobody to look at them. That's some bullshit. You in here with some shorts that come on up to here and shit, and a little ass halter top that stop right here, acting like you offended because somebody looking at your titties. Let me tell you something. I used to go to the gym. This is funny shit. Like, I used to go to the gym with one of my boys, and like he loved titties. So I was like, that's cool. But he would say shit to me like, oh, you see her over there, man? You see how she got like, you know what I'm saying, all that out? I was like, yeah, yeah, I see it. He was like, that look good. See how she got that crevice out? I said, nigga, crevice? You mean cleavage? He's like, oh, yeah, 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 cleavage. Because see, the problem with that is, I would love to stick my dick in some cleavage, but a crevice sound like some shit. I don't want my dick nowhere around. You know what I'm saying? That's some real shit, you know what I mean? Yo, I'm Roy Jackson, that's my time, y'all. You can follow me on Twitter,